COVID tests have become a key to planning our lives, but the FDA says that while the rapid antigen tests can detect the Omicron variant, it is more likely to get a false negative than with the other variants. Why would tests find one variant, variant but not another? Well, here's our why guy. It's all new this morning. A negative COVID test is a positive sign, but it may not be reason to celebrate. Rapid tests give you a quick answer. It may not be the right answer as variants of the coronavirus continue to emerge. The chances are a little bit more that those kinds of tests will be will not detect the new variant. Recently, the FDA warned that several rapid tests failed to detect the Omicron variant, informing people that they didn't have COVID when they did. Here's why those rapid tests might detect one variant, but not another. First, let's look at the difference between rapid tests and the PCR tests that take a deeper dive and a longer wait to get results. Dr. M.G. Finn of Georgia Tech tells us the PCR tests look for genetic material found inside the virus. It's like cracking the shell of an egg to explore the yolk. Rapid tests, also known as antigen tests, seek and grab a hold of specific proteins around the outside shell of the virus. Variants can alter those proteins. If it changes the specific protein the test was designed for, you can get a false negative. If I grab onto this coffee cup, um, if the coffee cup were to change shape, become a, a, a mug, and my hands were too small, I might not be able to grab it as well. And that's, in essence, uh, what a change in the variant uh, does to an antigen test. Manufacturers are using the latest information about variants to make changes to the tests. But it takes time to propagate through the commercial system to make them available. Dr. Finn says rapid tests can sometimes pick up traces of the virus when you're no longer infectious. He says use the tests as a guide and understand they're not perfect.